is Nisha. I hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, today is actually Sunday. You know I very often uh, film my Monday videos on Sundays because it takes a long time and if I did it on Monday God knows what time that video would come out and also I'm having my roots done tomorrow. Thank goodness because they are so big. My hair is a bit flat. It's second day hair. Um, yeah, we've been out last night with friends to a restaurant, so I feel a bit tired. I didn't get to bed till about three o'clock in the morning, so um, but I'm fine. First thing I wanted to say, as the title says, at least I hope I put it in the title, is if you would like Q&As. So I get so many questions under my videos about all sorts of things from Where's my accent from? To makeup questions, lifestyle questions, and it is very difficult to get to all of them. Um, especially when I'm busy around this time of year, it's very hard to answer every question. So I thought it would be a good idea if I could do a few Q and A videos. So you could ask me anything, uh, questions on any subject, you know. Obviously, that doesn't mean I'm going to answer every single one of them, depends what they are. But yeah, I think that would be good if it's a makeup question, lifestyle question, fashion question, um, question about me. Uh, so what I would like you to do is put those questions under this video. Because that way, I don't like to go and ask them on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat because then trying to get those questions from everywhere is a nightmare. So I thought if I have them all um, under this video, I can always come back to this video and read them all. Also, I wanted to say thank you so much. You've been sending me photos of your Christmas trees, garlands, of your decorations. I love that. You did that last year as well. And I really, really like to look at them. Uh, thank you so much for all the compliments on my decorations. I know a lot of you try to copy and you're really happy with it. So that is just all great. So if you have any more photos of your decorations, just email them to me. I love, I love looking at all your Christmas decorations. Sorry, I keep looking down and crossing things because I forget them what I've got to tell you. So throughout the week, I like write things down what I want to talk to you about, what I need to show you. So that's why I'm looking down. So um, I have a few things to show you. Let me show you first what has been sent to me. Um, this is amazing and I don't know how to pronounce the company. I think they are Scandinavian because the name looks Scandinavian. It is spelled I-N-S-J-O but all with the two dots at the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here but I will leave you the link to it. And this is bag in a bag. I love these things. I bought one a very long time ago from eBay. It was really cheap, so it wasn't a very good quality, but this is amazing. So basically, you if you um a person that likes to um, wear big tote bags, shopper bags, you know how difficult it is to find everything in a bag like that. I know. So this is like your bag in a bag. Mine is the biggest because they do different sizes. And this is amazing because inside is all lined. It's got hundreds of pockets, zips. Then it's got pockets on the outside. Here there is a little pocket. So you know you can put your phone, you can put your makeup in there, you can put your tissues, you can put your wallet. Um, that also comes with a little... Where is it? Oh yeah, and it came also, oh, there is the name. I don't know if you can see that better. Um, came with a little 
keychain which is beautiful and mine is in this green color they do them in all sorts of colors and this one actually in this color is on sale uh, they are about 45 pounds i think the biggest one this one is now on sale i think for 40 pounds and i thought this would be such a great christmas present um, I love it. I definitely use it because then what you do, say you want to change your handbag, you just take this out and stick it in your other handbag and everything that you need is here. So I think that is a wonderful idea and this definitely is going in one of my big bags because I forever look for things. Never can find my keys in there, my phone. It's just a nightmare. And they... Um, they do some other things as well, but they do much smaller. I think they do like three different sizes. I will leave you the website um, in the description box, the link to it. So yeah, I think this is really great. The next thing I got was some stuff from Charlotte Lacroix. So, you know, I love Charlotte Lacroix. It's a all high quality natural ingredients. Um, and I've been using uh, in the evening the Argan Stem Cell Serum, Night Cream and an Eye Cream. And they've sent me something different to try. They've sent me a Red Tea Serum. And Red Tea is a very, very powerful antioxidant. So I'm really looking forward to... Um, you only need like two to three drops to apply it. Yes, I'm looking forward to using that. I think I'm going to use up uh, my my Argan stem cell one uh, before I use this. This has got black on it because it came again in this beautiful box. They always come so lovely packaged. This is luxury uh, natural skincare line. Um, you know, because I always have them in my empties, I always talk about it. So that's the serum and I will start using it when I've finished um, the other one. And also they've sent me the CC cream in light. And you know, I love using CC creams. I actually don't know if this one has SPF in it. I don't think it does. Let me have a look at it but again it is um it is cc cream is more of a skin cut than makeup um it just has a bit of a color to it uh, mine is in light let me okay so it has sheer butter in it rosemary and chamomile extract yeah so i'm i'm really i love you know i like using cc creams to under my foundations i haven't even opened it i picked it up all yesterday so that's why I, ah, there it is. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I thought I'd show you because also, you know, I think uh, Charles Lacroix Skin Care, you know, I like it. It's a great, um, it would be a great present. And I think I've got discount code, but they also have amazing discount code right now before Christmas. Let me have a look. It's a huge bottle as well. Oh. That's quite good. It's light. Is it light? Yeah, but it's not that light, you know, like some of the light ones. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah, so it won't give you coverage or anything, just um, a hint of color. So yeah, but it is a skin care, so it's got like the real nice skin at antioxidant uh, skin benefits so I'm looking forward to using that so thank you Charlotte Lacroix oh yes and they sent me this as well um, they have also sent me um, easy cleaning which is one of those uh, vibrating pore mini cleaner so it's like a palm size um, it is made from body safe silicone um, you don't need batteries because it comes with USB charger, which is brilliant because at first when I opened it I couldn't see the charger and I thought hmm, where are the batteries? But yes, so it has a charger and it's one of those vibrating ones. I've never used that. I know is it um, What is that sonic? Oh, what is the cleaning brush that people have been using for years? I've never had it never used it um, 
and I'm really really curious to try this because it's not something that um, spins around but just vibrates and apparently it removes makeup and cleans everything perfectly so I am really really keen to try that and of course I will update you on all this stuff while I've been using it and tell you exactly what I think about it okay so thank you Charlotte Lacroix that, that was lovely okay now some stuff that I have bought so you might have seen on some of my pictures I actually bought them a while ago oh no I hope you, I didn't drop something on it I bought these gorgeous over the knee boards and you know they are like stretchy suede I love the block heel so they are not too tall because you know the ones that I bought over the knee they were on high heels when I did like uh, my lookbook before um, they were quite high so I wouldn't like wear them every day you know I feel like if you were the higher the the hill the more um, what's the word the more your outfit is like going out outfit not for every day do you know what I mean sorry I'm tired I can't express myself so I wanted something that I could wear every day as well so these are beautiful these are from whistles um, and I will try to find them online and um, I'll leave you a link I love them they are very comfortable like I said because the heel is not too high and it's it's a block heel they are stretchy so they're easy to pull on I, I think you have to be careful if you have uh, quite big muscly calves it might not might not be that easy to pull on also I feel with these type of boards because there is no zip you have to put your feet foot in it and pull it all up if you have quite um, high instep is that the instep the top of your foot then I find they are quite difficult to put on but I have quite skinny feet so I've never had problem with that but yeah I really really love them okay I have a I've bought new foundation um, I haven't been into makeup because you know it's all about the Christmas decorations which are all done now <laughs> um, it's been all about decorations but you know I'm a sucker for foundations so I have bought the Too Faced Born This Way and I bought it in light beige because I've heard people raving about it and you're supposed to it's an oil free undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and yes I definitely agree with that um, it says 100% said that this foundation bled the imperfections I don't know it covers things but bled them I'm not sure 98% of people said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect well I wouldn't say that and natural coverage okay I don't think it's natural coverage if you have dry skin uh, it is quite thick foundation very buildable I would say um, if you keep building it building it up it doesn't look too cakey like with some foundations if you put I can put nice too thick coats and I don't feel I get good coverage but I don't feel that it looks really really thick um my skin's been quite dry or um, oh, shouldn't say dry dehydrated and i think it's because of the central heating you know it's very dry and now in in a house because it's colder outside although this week's been really mild <laughs> um and unfortunately central heating is very bad for our skin for our hair everything dries out so i've been mixing that one with my Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk in number five. So again, this Born This Way is in light beige. Let me swatch it for you, actually. It's a lovely color. It's more um, on a yellowy side, but not too yellow. And this is my Giorgio Armani Cream Silk in five. So when I mix these two, I get quite good color match so I, you know I like mixing foundations anyway uh, because the full coverage foundations usually 
um, make you look quite matte and flat. So I like to add something more luminous. So I get the coverage, but I'm not all matte and flat. So I've always mixed my foundations, you know that. Okay, so I bought this and I, and I like it. I must say I like it. I've been using it now for, I don't know, four days or so. So I do like it. I wouldn't say, oh my God, I love this foundation so much that I will buy it again. I like it, but you know, I like it as much as I like some other foundations. <laughs> Okay, the next thing, and you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, I don't know if, you, if it comes across, yes, this, this glow baby. So I, I really like this look, you know, because it gives you this youthful look, the, the illumination on your cheek. And I've noticed that I can't really achieve it with highlighting powder as much. It, it is because our skin at our age has some texture. So when this, when the light bounces off of it, the light ray keeps breaking up and you don't see, you know, like you see on the young girls, like really bam. And also the powder one, I suppose, emphasize, emphasizes the texture, you know, of your skin. So I had the High Beam from uh, Benefit and High Beam is like a, you know, liquid il illuminator, but it's quite pink. And I started using that. So it gives you like this, you know, wet look. I started using that, but I feel like High Beam is a bit, oh God, I don't know how to explain. It's not, it's liquid but I feel like it's not dense, if that makes any sense. Um, when you rub it in, it almost goes patchy. That's how I feel with this one. So then I saw this online and I think I follow Iconic on Instagram. So I was very curious about this illuminator. They don't come in different colors, it's just this one. And as you can see, this one's got more of a golden tan color and I thought mm, does that mean that it's gonna make me look brown but it doesn't so this one comes with a dropper and it is gorgeous I mean you need minute minute there it is oh. you see when I spread that one look at the difference between the high beam and this this is just liquid gold. It's amazing. So what I do, what I've been doing is putting it on my hand, then taking a beauty blender and patting it. But of course, remember, don't put powder on your cheeks before you apply that. I mean, I will show you that when I do my next um, makeup tutorial full face or something I will show you exactly how I use it uh, because if you put it on the top of powder it sort of like curdles together if you know what I mean you have to remember you put powder on the top of powder cream on the top of cream so um, I use that and I really really pat it in with my beauty blender really well and then I top it off with one of the powder ones so like the Lorac today I've got the Lorac um, illuminating highlighter in twilight but I've also been using Mary Luminizer with it so someone asked me does it um, emphasize the texture it does I mean I don't have huge huge pores but I do have some texture you know I'm not 20 um, and I think for the day, you can really see it, and I wouldn't wear it. Of course, I'm wearing it for you, for the video, but um, it looks good in artificial in artificial light. So, on a night out, you know, sort of artificial dim light. When you move around, you can see this lovely glow. And from the distance, like I'm sitting here, my mirror is here. By the way, you always ask me when I do 
uh, tutorials about my mirror. So this is my mirror and you know I don't even remember where I bought it. It could have been in one of the department stores, it could have been in home base, it was a long time ago. It's just a square mirror, it doesn't have um, magnification or anything. So that's why it's for my makeup because it's quite big. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, from the distance you don't really see the texture. So, and I just like it when you move how, how, how it looks. But yes, it definitely, if you have, if you have pores and like big pores and really and maybe even lines here then I wouldn't use it because it is gonna just emphasize it you know like I said anything shiny light brings things forward so I'm enjoying using it and like I had it on last night when we went out but I think in a day can look a bit too much I don't know maybe I should zoom in and you can see yourself I don't know if you can see. I don't know if the texture shows or not, but I can see it. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, it's I'm not going to tell you, yes, buy it and it's going to look you wonderful. I like it for the odd occasion. And also you can use a tiny amount. You know, I've used quite a lot just to show you today. Okay. Now, I also have replenished my Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence and this is quite expensive unfortunately but I bought it, I don't know why I bought the first one, this is my third one believe it or not and it pains me to spend the money but I, I really feel it works when my skin is dehydrated and even on Paula's Choice it has amazing reviews so this is the step two so it's like a serum almost you know it, but this is essence it's very very um watery it's very pleasant to use and i've run out of mine a while ago it's sitting in my empties and i have noticed how i notice is i put my makeup on i put my um foundation on and it never looks good it looks sort of Textury and it's because my skin's been so dehydrated and I've noticed that when I've run out and didn't use it for a couple of weeks I really saw the difference so I repurchased that but I also bought the uh, Hydrodynamic uh, Ultimate Moisture. I bought the the cream as well. I think I can't remember where I bought it but you know you can get this stuff in a lot of places because there was some sort of deal i also bought the uh, perfecting day cream because it's got spf 30 in it and you know you can never have enough um spfs so i bought that as well and there was some deal i can't remember if i got one free or something like that so that's why i bought all three but to be honest if you have def dehydrated skin that on its own should be okay under your whatever moisturizer you're using so in the morning now, what I use is the Skin Deva. I started using the newest um, um, serum. I don't know why my camera keeps stopping. Um, the Skin Deva 20% Argyrelin with Hyaluronic Acid and Matrixel 3000. Hyaluronic Acid also is very good for the hydrated skin. So I use that. So this one's supposed to be like Botox in a bottle, we will see. Um, and then I use my essence and then I use this cream and I feel really, really hydrated. So I probably wouldn't need that in the summer, but I feel like I said with the central heating and everything, it's really, really oof, parched. Okay, if you follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen this. Um, I bought this Woodwick. Um, candle if you haven't heard of Woodwick um, candles they are very different so the wick is made out of special wood that crackles like open fire when you light it so it says on here all about it, it says um, create a long beautiful flame 
fills your room with fragrance and has the sound of comforting crackle of a fireplace. This is very big candle. How big is it? I don't know. I can't see. But it is big. It comes in this beautiful um, green mercury glass and I can't find anywhere the scent of it. Where does it say? But basically these are like the Christmas ones. So if you see them in a shop you will see one in that glass that is red there is one that is orange or goldy this one is green and smells of christmas tree like like you would not believe so because i love the smell of christmas tree but i have artificial tree i bought that and i was hoping that you know you can actually smell it a lot of candles you buy and they don't really fill your room with that much fragrance. I feel like that about Yankee Candles. I used to ya love, yav, <laughs> love Yankee Candles and they used to smell amazing but I found in the last year or so that I can't really smell them much so I stopped buying them. Obviously Bath and Body Works are like the best but we can get them here so I brought someone else in New York and whenever Paul sometimes travels to US, he will bring me some. If I have a friend that goes to US, they will bring me one. So that's the only way I can get it. So I was really hoping that this one won't be a disappointment and believe me, it isn't. I can't vouch for every flavor of those candles. I used to have smaller one of those um, years ago and I think the crackling was really annoying me. So I thought, I'm not buying another one, the crackling was getting on my nerves. But this one doesn't seem to be that badly crackling. Anyway, that's my own little mental problem. <laughs> I have problem with certain noises. Um, so this, I promise you, when I put it on the other day, I could smell it upstairs. It's amazing. So I might go and buy another one. They are quite expensive. That one is £25, but I really think it's well worth it. And also, you know what I'm going to do? This glass is going to get reused once. Um, I mean, this this container is worth money on its own. It's really heavy. You've got this wooden top, you know, and once that is finished, I can reuse it. And it's green. I can reuse it for Christmas to put something in there, you know. Right. Do you think I like it? So, on my lips, I have the Ofra uh, in Pasadena, the lipstick, but, so, you know, this is like the matte one, but they are very comfortable. These are my favorite matte lipsticks. Um, but I wanted to add some sheen to it. So I've got that for the lasting power. And then on the top of it, because I looked at them and I thought these are very similar colors. This is the Anastasia um, lip gloss in vintage. And if I swatch them for you, you will see they are quite similar in color. So they're very nice to top, to put on the top of each other. The Anastasia is a bit more pinker. Okay, so that's the Ofra and that's the Anastasia. So that's what I did. I just put Ofra on first, let it dry and then I topped it off with that. I love those Anastasia um, glosses. Anyway, I'm really rambling on now. Okay, I thought I better tell you about, I better tell you about everything because I know people always ask me if I, you know, everything is normally in a description box, everything I'm wearing. And I've always said if, if my top or whatever is not in a description box, it's because it's old, I bought it ages ago, or bought it somewhere where you can't get it because it could have been in my local boutique or something. So I only put in a description box what I know that is available, still available. So, but people still ask me. So my watch is Olivia Burton, the one with the B, which I love. My top is one of those wide tent tops that I bought very long time ago in local boutique. So, oh yeah, and my red nails, which I'm really enjoying. You know how I don't really wear red nails, but this color is from Madame Glam in Amour, and it's one of those blue reds. And I think that's why I like it. Like I like the, bl uh, the blue red 
lipstick from Zoeva. So I think it's because I need to wear the Kula, Kula Reds. Okay, um, earrings again from a local boutique. Um, I think that's it. Okay, my lovelies, have a wonderful week. I'm going to go now because I my brain is not working and I'm just talking rubbish now. So have a great week. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.